you know, I, I just, um, I'm not sure what Casey said, but, uh, you know, I'm just very, very proud of them. Uh, it's been a long, 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 long year. Uh, been, a, been a difficult year. A lot of things haven't gone our way. Um, after Kansas, I just begged and pleaded with them that uh, we got to come and fight. And if we didn't fight against this team, who was very, very tough and physical, um, you know, they were going to kick our butts. And to our guys' credit, I thought they rose up today. They, I was proud to be their coach. They competed. They fought. They gave us a chance. Obviously, we're not perfect. Make a shot here or there. Not defensive breakdown. Um, but, it, uh, you know, they gave us a chance. I, you know, Tone plays 40 minutes. Um, nine rebounds. I, I, I'd love him to make a shot, but he, he was leader on the play hard and had nine rebounds and, and tried to guard. Made a couple mistakes defensively down the stretch. Probably played those guys too many minutes, but you don't have much choice, uh, you know, with, with guys that are out. So, um, you know, I just happy with them. I thought we defended. We showed them some video of uh, Barry and Dean and Cam's group, how they guarded. And um, I think it got their attention to realize, you know, how intense you have to be, how you have to be in the stands, how you have to be in help, how you got to help each other. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we gave it a, we gave it a go today. And, uh, obviously I'd like to win, a win for them. I'd be, you know, cause, uh, you know, they have, they have, it's been hard and they've keep, they've kept fighting. Um, you know, Nigel, we get a little foul trouble. Obviously I, I thought there was some calls that I, I watch on video, um, and see, but, um, you know, we had some foul trouble and we, we kept over, even overcame that. And, uh, you know, and, and hung in there. It's just, they, they had some guys step, you know, Kyler Edwards played in the final four, three for four from three. Kevin McCullough is just a winner, three for four from three. But I think the big ones are the other guys. Tyreek Smith hit a three. Um, Ab, Abgo Bo comes in and hits a three. The kid from France, Clarence, hits a, it, it was a two, but, those are big shots that uh, are, you know, probably when you look at the score and everything else, backbreakers, probably the only real negative is just, uh, or two negatives, I guess, would be the free throws. We had our chances. We actually, they're one of the leading, get to the free throw line more than anybody else in the country, one of the tops. And we've been one of the worst. Uh, we did get it inside. We did get to the paint. Uh, we got to the line, but we didn't convert like we needed to. And then the turnovers, uh, just uh, Nigel's been so good, and I bragged about him uh, constantly, but six turnovers and a few of them just, uh, they get him in a little rush, and, um, you know, but obviously he can make some shots and find ways to get him more shots, if anything. Thank you, Coach. Uh, first question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Bruce, did you tell the guys that you wanted to see him slap on the floor today on defense? Yeah, I started a thing that uh, old friend of mine used to do, and Coach Katie did it, no, no stance, no chance. And it's any sports you play. If you can't get in a stance, I don't, if, you're not, if you're hitting a baseball, if you're standing straight up with your legs, you're not going to hit it. Um, you're, you're in the field, you're not going to be able to make a, a, a play. Football, you got to be in a stance. And I just said we got to have something to remind us we have a tendency, as you know, you've watched us. So people have watched us. When things go bad, um, we we have a trouble. We have trouble, and we um, kind of mentally break down. And I, I said, here's a reminder to stay strong and stable. And every time we're going to be in a stance, we're going to hit the floor. We're going to try to concentrate on what we can focus on. Uh, yesterday, I talked to them about. People aren't always bigger and stronger, but they, they beat you because they're consistently more focused than you. And now I was trying to get them to focus on something. I guess maybe it did. We'll see what happens on Tuesday. And uh, I was curious, when you called the timeout at the end of the first half um, with 48 seconds or so to go, what, what did you draw up there? Is that the way you wanted to see it go? And did you at all consider going two for one in that situation? Uh, actually, we had called a quick hitter, and uh, it didn't go the way we wanted. Um, and then, you know, they end up getting the last shot. But that—that that was why we called timeout. We, 
We had talked about trying to get a, a shot at the end of the half. You know, think about two shots that go in that they take away from us, and I, I guess they're no good. I, you guys probably saw it, but you would think the sooner or later, basketball gods, something would go our way, but it, it, it didn't. All right, thanks, Bruce. Next questions for Coach Weber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Bruce, when, when Casey was just in there, I, I asked him just kind of how, how difficult has it been? Because I know, and, and even when he was not able to play last year, you talked about how physical presence he was in practice. Uh, just how difficult is it? It just seems like sometimes he gets in the games and they referee him a different way. And it, it, I have to think that's not, that's not easy for him to, to deal with. Yeah, he's, you know, he gets a little frustrated. Um, Got to learn, um, you know, how to set screens. He's gotten a lot of them. Uh, the, the, the posting up. Uh, we've talked about it, you know, and, and obviously they're best in the country. They take lots of charges. Uh, I mean, it's unbelievable how many charges they take. And, uh, you know, I guess they got them for a few. Um, I was happy and proud of him. Yesterday he couldn't even practice. Um, he came back. I think he's the only one positive on a plus minus on our team. Um, and he did a lot of good things, but it would have been nice to – Davion – uh, it's it's a season that's probably taken a little toll on him, and he had some chances inside. Uh, they are physical. Uh, I thought they disrupted him a couple of times in the post, um, and he's just got to you know that will come with time. I I just I, I again I told him this morning, I told Davion I I'm just so thrilled and happy what he's done. Um, I just said you gotta you gotta just suck it up and. Give us a little more, and uh, it would have been nice if we could have got a little more today. Uh, Casey said he thought because you know he got whistled for two two offensive fouls. He thought the first one is like okay, maybe I extended my arm and they got me, but he, he felt like the second one was maybe a little more ticky tack. Is that kind of how you saw it too? I would say they're the best in the country at doing it, so they must get a lot of. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know if that was also maybe a, a reference to the Big 12 refs. I apologize. I, I, I didn't know if maybe you were making a comment on that. I, um, and then Bruce, one other thing about Casey, he mentioned that uh, he basically lives in, in the treatment room now to even play games. I guess he, I guess a lot more hurt than when even we think. I mean, he doesn't look like, at least in games, that he's like limping or anything. So, I mean, I think it does a lot for him that he's out there doing what he can. Well, he had something pop up yesterday. We had to take him, we couldn't practice. We didn't know, obviously we we're open and praying that it wasn't a bad thing and, and it wasn't what Luke had maybe thought it was so he 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 went to the doctor to the hospital during practice he came back at the end and got to shoot a little bit so um you know it just you you get surgery if somebody operates on you and they cut on you um it's not as easy i i can promise you i've had it done a lot of times i've been in the emergency room probably 20 times in my life um and it, it, I, every time the doctors always say one or two weeks, and then I'm on three weeks, and I, uh, I'm still hurt. So it, it takes a while. And then, it, you know, not to play at this level uh, against this competition, uh, it, it, you know, and I told him when it happened, I said, Casey, it's not just going to happen. You got you're, you know, and then you're in the middle of the season. We don't practice. You, you have two days of prep. You got two games a day off and one day of practice. So it's, it's hard. It's hard to come back, but he made a little progress. You saw him make a little progress. Luke made a little progress. Definitely helped us. And Bruce, last thing for me is, uh, I mean, obviously, I mean, the result maybe doesn't show it, but did you think this was just the best all-around effort in terms of just the energy your team showed in, in a while? Yeah, I, I told him after, and, I, and I, I sincerely, you guys can twist it, whatever. I'm just very proud. I was proud of their effort and how they competed. Obviously, I wanted them to win, but um, you know, I, I, if we can do this, if we, if they'll come with that same energy and effort and focus, um, we'll have a chance here some, at some of these games down the stretch. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Coach, how impressive is it to see the intensity from this team without one of your best intensity guys in Dejuan Gordon? Well, we, we miss him, and then you miss his play hard points, his rebounding. 
Um, you know, all the little things stage one does is energy. Uh, but, you know, again, we, I, I was really, really proud of Tony. Antonio, that you know, he played his butt off. He didn't do a lot of the other stuff, but and he played 40 minutes, and I know he was dead, um, dead tired, and uh, but we didn't we didn't have any choices. So uh, probably a couple of mental mistakes down the stretch. Maybe if you subbed, maybe they wouldn't happen. Uh, but you know, those, they all they you know they 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 competed. You had to against them because that's what their thing is. And then you had two 11-point losses to Texas Tech. Is this a game where you guys kind of have Tech's number in, in the way to be able to keep it competitive, or do you think you parlay this into a game against Texas on Tuesday? I thought we scored a little better uh, at, at their place or a little easier. Um, you know, but today I thought we rose up and defended them better and competed. After the beginning, the offensive rebounds, I think they had three on that one first possession or one of the first possessions. And, and they only ended up with six. And, you know, that's been a backbreaker for us. Um, I don't know what was the second chance points. They only had three. So now the, obviously the, uh, you know, our turnovers probably hurt us the most. Um, and then just some little breakdowns here and there. But I, again, they com our guys competed. I, they played with the heart. They played with their, they played with some focus. And, um, you know, I just wish we could have done it earlier, but, it's better than later. Now we'll see if they can do that same thing on Tuesday. Last thing I have, do you think Terrence Shannon coming in the second half playing 11 minutes made a difference in that second half for them to keep that lead? Um, I, I, you know, I'm sure I, again, I thought it maybe some of those other guys, um, you know, McClung was really good in the first half. Thought we did a pretty good job in the second half. We got him to turn it over, got in some gaps, um, made him take some tough shots. Um, and then, uh, you know, but Shannon, you know, he's plus 12 um, when he's in there for 10 minutes. So he, he must have did something good that, that helped them. Thank you, Coach. Next question to Michael Bowens. Yeah, Bruce, just your take on that uh, four or five minute stretch they had in the second half to kind of get away from you. Well, you know, that it's something that's plagued us all year. And uh, they hit a couple of big threes. Um, they made some good reads. Um, you know, they end up 10 for 20 from three, 18 assists, 17 assists. So they made, they made good plays. They're older, they're smart. They, they, they know each other. Um, and they, they had, you know, not only the Kyler Edwards and McCullough step up, but those other guys hit shots. And that, that made it tough. Um, we had some bad, a couple bad possessions on the offensive end in that stretch. I, I got to watch it, to be honest. I can't remember. I, I, I wish I could tell you exactly what happened, but I'll watch it tonight. Maybe we're on there next week. I can tell you a little better. That's all right. I understand. Would you, would you kind of make the decision to guard them bigger on the interior and give them some three-point looks? Um, I didn't. You know, they just do a good job of getting in the paint and making you help and reading the right plays. And, um, you know, we, we, you know, we talked about being off, being in the, being in the help. Uh, you know, one time they skipped it. Luke was in the tag. They skipped it. He probably stayed in too long. And the next time he went out and they got a layup. So it's just good basketball play, um, you know, by good players. And, and that's, you know, uh, you can play great defense, and uh, if they make good basketball plays, they, they're the ones that end up with the success. And if this was better effort, which it appeared to be, what, what do you feel like brought, it, brought that out? I guess I begged and pleaded with them, and um, I guess that's all. I just I pleaded on their heart and soul that, that they, you know, not to, not to give up, not to, you know, this is, you know, I don't know. I, I hope I had something to do with it, but I, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens Tuesday and the rest of the season. Thank you, Bruce. Anything else for Coach Weber before? Oh, Ryan Black, one uh, question. Hey, hey, Bruce, I want to jump back in real quick. I, I guess it just seemed like every single time you guys got it to four, five, six, 
they they just would end up coming up with a three on the very next possession. I guess it, just how demoralizing was that, you know, for this team that's already just had such a rough go of it recently. To, every time you guys had some positive energy, it seemed like Texas Tech snuffed it out immediately. I, I'm just like, please don't let it go. Please don't let it go in. You know, it's just – and, again, you know, you, we go nine for 20, so they're probably saying, hey, you guys shot it, you know, better than you normally do. But, uh, uh, you know, they – you know, it, it it was tough. But, again, our guys didn't quit. I think they got it to, what, 11 or 12, and then we got it back to four or five. And, uh, you know, and that's, that's a big step for our team because, as everyone knows, we've hit those spurts where we don't, we don't fight back, we don't respond. But today they did.